Hello there, welcome to Yearly Reviews, the weekly web series reviewing the video games that I played for the year of 2020 because I had nothing better to do during a pandemic. So without further ado, let's jump right into this week's review. Okay, so this isn't what I promised, but hear me out. For those of you who didn't watch the last review, I said that next week we'd be taking a look at an example on how not to do a walking sim. Well, next week has come, and that's not what we're talking about, but it will come out next week, that is a guarantee. So let's discuss something near and dear to me. Music. I practically listen to this stuff for most of my lifetime and yet still haven't bothered to learn a musical instrument. Whenever I'm creating videos or scripting views like these, music is always playing in the background. And I'm not like other people who collect some records for fun. <laughs> I collect CDs, which is just sad. But I'm rambling. So basically, the point is, I like music. Not that music, but still. So, anybody up for a game all about music? Yeah, no, that was a piece of shit. In case you can tell by the video's title, today we'll be talking about No Straight Roads, a video game all about music. In the city of Vinyl, well, city, there's an organization called No Straight Roads, or NSR for short. Each different member tries to find talent to join their ranks and take control of the city. One of those talents is the indie band Bunk Bed Junction, consisting of our protagonist, the orange guitarist Mayday, and the green drummer, Zook. Gutted if there's no bass player, but hey. But NSR don't take a liking to them as they are more focused on EDM music rather than rock. But when NSR gets too power hungry, they shut down the power for everyone in the city but themselves, leading Mayday and Zook to fight them in order to restore power to the city. This plot sounds incredibly cheesy, but just go with it, it's better that way. In terms of gameplay, this game is mostly defined into two sections, a lead up to the main stage and the boss battle. Essentially, the game is a boss rush, which I'm not complaining about, I fucking love boss rushes. The game is endlessly charming, whether it be the visual design, the characters, or the overall presentation of the game, and of course, the music. I do like how the game tries to jab at certain musical genres and the personalities they create, like we have a VTuber made by 5 people which only go at once, a boy band made entirely of robots, a spoiled child prodigy, and more. The characters are also generally likeable and charming, including the villains, the NPCs you come across, and our protagonists, of course. So this game seems great, but it's heavily flawed, so let's go over the common complaints everybody has and see if I agree with them. Number 1. The game is buggy. This one actually didn't really apply to me because it seemed that most people who say this are talking about the Switch version. Meanwhile, I played the PS4 version and the only main bugs were that sometimes the audio would skip at certain parts. Number 2. The run-ups. This one I actually agree with though. The run-ups are awful in my opinion, the worst bits of the game. The game is combat based but it feels very finicky to control at this state and is only salvageable by the boss battle at the end. Number 3. The style. This game tries to juggle being both a rhythm game and a combat game, kind of like games such as No More Heroes or Fury, but it just seems like in terms of enemies it really struggles in doing that, especially in the run-ups. Some of you might not notice, but I have a Twitter account where pinned I have little mini reviews on all the games in this series, including the ones I've covered and the ones to come, and on the No Straight Rides review, I was severely wrong. Well, not wrong, just... Uh, I'll explain. I think it didn't help how I just constantly hit restart every time I died or how when I wrote that review I just finished playing it a minute after, and look at that score. I mean I do like the game but 10 out of 10? No. But anyway I'm rambling again. No Straight Roads has potential to be a legendary game, and there's all the right things going for it, but its huge flaws really set it back. If you are interested in it, I do recommend you check it out, just, just don't get the Switch version from what I've heard. Hey folks, thanks for sticking to the end of this review. If you like what you saw here, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys making comments on these videos. They make up my day and I read every single one of them. If you like what you saw here, feel free to look at the newest review and look at the latest review. And if you want to watch more, feel free to hit that bell so you know when a new review drops. See ya and thanks for watching.